do you prefer making love and having sex in the morning or at night or both? Like she's like, I think that she wants it to, I might need to clone myself because I think she's going to want to like 24 seven. I'm the boy when she's talking about, I'm like, Oh my Lord. I'm like, I don't know if I'd be, <laughs> that's Billy got himself a nympho. Oh yeah. I'm like, yeah. like holy man. and she's like, yeah. And I haven't been with a woman in, in what almost seven years. And she's been without anybody for three going on four years. I don't know if she's going to let me out of the bedroom. And I already know what she expects when we're together. Like she wants to set it up. Like, cause I, you know, we had talked, I said, I'll make sure you have your own room and everything like that. And she's like, the way things are going, that might not even be necessary. And even from my point of view, I'm just like saying maybe just for the first night, at least get her her own room, just in case, you know, you know, she, she'll have that. She can go and feel comfortable if she needs to. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a gentlemanly thing to do, even though, yeah. even if you know, it's, it's a mood point, but still. Yeah, it's a mute point. She's so, gonna she pretty much yeah. told me she's gonna like jump into me and she feels my warmth and she, you know, she feels it in her heart and her body, and she needs to feel my touch and she wants my hands on her and she wants to hug with hug and kiss with no words. Like she just wants like this passion. It's like, what? And I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh hey, okay. I mean. And then I look pinch, at her pictures. Pinch, and pinch I mean, me now, eh? Pinch me, eh? Billy's going. Yeah, and she sends me the pictures, and just no, and she'll send me like every day, like every morning. You want to see this one little video, so I can give you a little piece of what you twisted my arm because <laughs> it's. Yeah, I, yeah. It, I want you to see it so that you can see. See, little <laughs> yeah, she's hot for you. She's her, her her engines are overheating. You know, I think she hasn't had a man in a while, and uh, she feels and a then good. She sends me another one with her coffee. You know, and she it does a whole thing like she's showing me, and but she's in her little bodysuit. She's showing me how she's doing the hot tea. <laughs> you know. And it goes on and like, it just goes on. And then she that blows me to kiss and everything like that. And she's saying how hot it is. And, and then a few minutes later, I get another video where she's just in her bodysuit and she's making hot tea saying, you know, this is my hot tea. Like you're my hot man, you know, things like that. I'm happy to see how it's unfolding. You know, she loves your over communicativeness, right? You're over and I've held back. I like did what you said. And I've held back like, not texting as much. I always wait for her to text me in the morning. And then I let a little time go by. Then I say, great, beautiful pictures. I'm glad you're having a great day. Then I leave it at that. And then hours will go by. And then usually she goes to the gym. As you can see, she's got an amazing body. She goes to the gym. Um, and then she'll message me. She's like, um, oh, I'm home. I'm missing you. So I let it go. I don't message her like for hours until she messages me again. And then she'll say she has an English lesson and then she'll do that for like an hour. Then she'll call me and then she wants to do video for a few minutes because she needs to see me. She says she just needs, even if we don't talk that much, because like I'll be driving and she's like, can you please just turn on your video? Eva? I know you're driving just so I can see you. I need to feel that closeness with you. So I'll turn the video on for a few minutes. We'll talk. I don't know how she does it because she gets up like five, six o'clock in the morning and she's up sometimes till like midnight. So her, she doesn't sleep very much. And I'm like, I'm always telling her, maybe you should go to sleep. She's like, but I don't want to say goodbye to you. And, you know, all that. And then she sends a couple of the naked pictures. Like one was in the shower and another one, she sprawled out on the bed. I mean, I'm saying to myself, are you kidding me? Like, I just like want to jump through the screen when I saw that one on her laying on the bed. I'm like, God almighty. I'm like, what a body. <laughs> hey, little girl. <laughs> Do what I think of. You wanted to say hi? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Okay. <laughs> she already met Billy at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. We're friends now. <laughs> yeah. Look at mama looking. What are you doing? Daddy's working. I'm just chatting with my friend. Me? Yeah, we talk about you. What are you coloring? What is that? Do this. Oh, my goodness. I want to do this. Well, my friend, I'm very, I'm very happy for you. It's, um, it, it's just an example of when everything goes right, 
you feel it, right? And when and you meet when you meet the right person, everything happens for a reason, whether it's good or bad. If you, it seems bad at the time, um, you know, I love. Let you, go. Yeah. you will not let me go. Oh, this is what every <laughs> papa wants to hear. You know? Oh, that's, that's love. <laughs> I love, that's why I love like one of my favorite songs, country song, Garth Brooks, you know, unanswered prayers, because we, yeah. we always think when something bad is happening to us, you know, God, what are you, you've forsaken me. I've been praying for this and why you don't give it to me? Well, because he sees something in the future better for you. And if he was to give you what you want now, he knows it's not the best for you. You know, it's it's yeah. It's a beautiful well, so thing. Well and, and so yeah. You know, it's, I uh, <laughs> you guys are firing on all cylinders. Yeah, it's like there's no uh there's definitely no lack of anything. I mean, we're friends where the romance is there like more so than what i ex thought it was going to be you know what i mean like you know yeah. my experience with the other women so it was like she's not like any ukrainian woman that i've encountered <laughs> except for i mean when i was in the ukraine the first time i knew there was some very sexual women but i don't think they were pure or really you know <laughs> wanting you know the right they didn't they weren't looking for the heart they were probably just looking for what they were going to get she said uh, she'd come home and she had had lunch and then she wasn't very hungry. She was going to make a little tea. I said, well, why don't you make something else for yourself? Make some, a little dinner. And she opened up her refrigerator. She lives in a nice apartment. It's a big, in Kiev, it's a big apartment area. Like, you know, they have those areas where there's a bunch of apartment buildings, but hers is very nice. And she opened up the refrigerator and it was only like some eggs there and maybe a drink and I think there was a box of, box of chocolates, maybe from Valentine's or something. So I'm thinking maybe she doesn't have that much money for food or something. Like maybe she was showing me maybe she wanted some money for food. I wasn't sure. No, was no. It, it's very, it's it's very, in Ukraine, people shop only like daily. Yeah, they that's what she said. Because I eggs, a few, a few vegetables. They do that. They shop. Well, that's what I said to her. I said, do you need, I said, if you need, I can help you get some food. She's like, no, 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 no. I make money. She says, I just don't eat much here. And when I do, I just buy and eat it in one day. She's like, usually I eat, you know, yeah, either out yeah. of lunch or, you know, whatever. And she's like, if I need something, I'll bring it home and I eat it. They don't, she says she doesn't stock stuff in her, in a refrigerator. So I was like, okay, well, she doesn't need money then, you know? So I'm like, okay, that's good. That was, that was like a sign for me. Like, well, she's doing all this romantic sexual stuff. She doesn't want money. She doesn't need money or anything like that. She's not asking for any help. She says she does fine. Like I say, a, a real woman that's interested in man won't accept it because she knows or she'd be worried it's thought of badly. Yeah, Which, she said she appreciated it. She told me she, yeah. yeah, she said, I appreciate it very much. She's like, but she's like, no. She's like, but that shows, she said that shows the kind of man that you are. She's like, so I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's 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 just a great example of why we want unlimited dating, why we want to not settle, why we just just chill. If, if it's not the right one, if she's an ice queen and you don't feel anything next. It wasn't right away, but it was after, you know, some talking. She wanted to start talking about intimacy and how I felt about it and how, you know, what I felt intimacy was in the relationship. And um, for her, it seemed like it's like important, like she's got like. Do you prefer making love and having sex in the morning or at night or both? Like, she's like, I think that she wants it to, I might need to clone myself because I think she's going to want to like 24 seven. I'm the boy when she's talking about, it, I'm like, Oh my Lord. I'm like, I don't know if I'll be. <laughs> That's Billy a got himself a nympho. Oh yeah. I'm like, yeah. like holy man. and she's like, yeah. And I haven't been with a woman in, in what, almost seven years. And she's been without anybody for three going on four years. So, but I think she's got more bent up frustration sexually like she wants like to let some let some fire fly women have different sexual set points and needs so you you, yeah. you got yourself a body that's all you can yeah, she, yeah she's burning her flame is burning bright <laughs> it's uh it, but like i said it for me i was just i was i'm in my head i'm like a b c d what i've went through and then i and like all of a sudden you know went from super cold now i'm like at at the burning flame and 
like she'll say like the connection is amazing but she, she talks about me all the time like how she can't stop thinking about me and you know when she's falling asleep she's she's thinking about my hands you know and my and all that stuff and i'm like i'm oh, real i'm like this she's like a diamond diamond domino there she's like dynamite <laughs> I don't know if she's going to let me out of the bedroom. I mean, she sounds like she's going to want to be there quite a bit. I'm like, wow. So <laughs> uh, I don't think you'll be complaining. I, I get the uh, feeling you will be complaining. Gorgeous. I mean, she's so beautiful. And, and every time I see her, I'm like, her smile is so warm. And when she looks at me, it's so intently. It's like she's looking right into me. And you touch my heart. You touch my soul. You teach my life and all my goals. And love was born even though sometimes her words, she takes her time and I let her talk and I let her put her words together into her sentence. And, but she's always worried. Like, she's like, she doesn't want me to be disappointed in her. And I'm like, how can I be disappointed in you? Like you're making this effort. You're, you're learning three times a week now, plus working a, a long job and going to the gym to make yourself look good. You know, you, you're 42, you, you look 32. I mean, you're, you're taking care of yourself. So what, what is there to be disappointed in? You're doing everything to make yourself better, but also to try to make our communication better. So I can't, I can't find a flaw in her at all, you know? So. Exciting. Exciting. So how do you feel? Good. I mean, like, I feel very, my heart, I tell her all, the, you know, when I talk to her, I always like, usually let her start with a little bit of the romantic talk and then I'll, I'll jump in a little bit. And I tell her, I said, my heart feels warm when I think about her, you know, it feels great. I think that our chemistry is amazing as much as it can be on video and in text. But that's when you really know it's, you know, if you feel something when somebody's just texting you and they're sending you a picture, cause she's constantly, like she sent me pictures today, she's with her family, but yet she took the time to send me a picture of her and her, uh, I think it's her niece. She'd gotten her niece some toys. So she sends me pictures. Let's see if I can have, he's gonna show you one. Cause this is, this is what I get all, all day. Like, yeah, it's a great sign that she's messaging you every day. Yeah, that's her and her niece. Yeah, you know, she got her got her some toys and stuff. So whatever she's doing, whatever's going on in her life, she's sending me pictures. And you know, she didn't have to do that. I didn't expect to hear from her. Like I wasn't. I was just letting her go be with her mom and her friend and her niece. And I was gonna just be quiet, like just send her, "Hey, hope you're having a wonderful time." And you know, I'm thinking about you. That's all I was gonna say. And I wake and up is to, daily. Is daily she's sending you pictures? Every day, every day, every morning oh, I wake wow. up, there's at least one or two pictures. And then she's also makes videos in the office. Like she'll walk around and she talks slow. She's like, I have to talk low. You know, she whispers and she's like, this is where I am. And then she poses a little bit and then she blows me a kiss. So she's completely the opposite of what I'm used to, because like you said, you know, the other ones didn't really want to talk at all. Meanwhile, I can't stop her from talking. I mean, I thought I talked a lot. She outdoes me. I mean, you should see the text messages I get. I mean, like, long. When you know, you know. And you're yeah. just so grateful that you waited, you know. Yeah. And I look and I'm looking back and I'm like, now I'm with, with her. And I feel like we're together. Like, I mean, we're in a, this relationship is building tremendously fast. And <laughs> then I look back and like, and I'm like, I know her age is like 42, but she looks so much younger. And I'm like, well, Victoria was 40. Katerina was 30 something. The other one was 30 something. I'm like, she's much more mature, but yeah, much more beautiful. Like, I'm like, so like, like some guys, you know, maybe, and I, and I've been my own worst enemy. I have looked for some younger women. Also, meanwhile, here I met this beautiful woman who's 42, who's perfect for me. That is probably going to look beautiful for the rest of her life, probably more beautiful than I'm going to look in 10, 15 years. And she can't get enough of me. I think she would marry me tomorrow. If I could, if I flew there, I think she would get down on bending knee and ask me to marry her. I mean, she's like all in 10,000%. So yeah, who knows what's going to happen. And remind me, how long have you guys uh, been seeing each other? When did you meet her? What date? Probably three weeks ago. If I went, if I, if I went back and looked at some of our messages. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Shows, like, shows to go you what can happen in three weeks, right? Oh my God. Like totally. It's just crazy, you know, but, and, and with her, it's like I said, it's been nonstop, nonstop talk. It's just, she can't get enough of me. I can't get enough of her. When you, you know, when you know, right. Yeah. And you know, now it's, it's, it's looking really good. It's looking, looking yeah. Really I good. see. Yeah. Uh, I see. Yeah. Uh, 
yeah, I see great things with her. You know, it's yeah. great. I'm very happy for you. Sometimes I think God.